nothing in French. Hello, everyone. Uh, probably I'm a very TV organ out here to be uh, as uh, I'm a nonsense student. Presenting a very non technical uh, paper over the topic using control and artificial intelligence. So, uh, the paper. Uh, speaks more about the integration of pollution, uh, the integration of uh, artificial intelligence into the pollution control, innovative applications in uh, monitoring, predicting, and mitigating pollution uh, uh, from the environment. Uh, this is basically a very much uh, case study based uh, uh, paper that I'm going to present. Uh, it includes all uh, forms of pollution, uh, air, uh, industrial emission, water waste uh, treatment. And uh, this is a very, this would be a very generic paper uh, to say. So we are free to assume it to be a uh, recreation view. So as uh, far in, as uh, the introduction is concerned, overview of pollution as an environmental challenge is being addressed. Limitations of traditional uh, pollution control methods that are widely used uh, till today. Uh, probably uh, most of all in the uh, developing and underdeveloped countries. The uh, transformative potential of the artificial uh, intelligence and is uh, can, uh, uh, to the extent that it can examine the implications for the environmental control uh, methodologies that can be uh, that, that are very badly in need of uh, revision or uh, improved implementation. So, uh, types of uh, pollution are being addressed, uh, complexity and sources of pollution. Complexity uh, does not mean uh, taking it uh, to be addressed as uh, some uh, chemical based or anything. Even the simplest as of uh, uh, microplastic contaminations in the oceans or in the uh, drinking water that we uh, assume individually. Uh, can be very sensitive to handle and very difficult to handle, which can be done uh, through processes, not just AI tools, but through uh, surprisingly uh, big data analytics and uh, quantum computing. Because uh, the present day quantum computing is around, as far as I can make out, it's 150 trillion times faster than the most supercomputers we have today. So, uh, just for an example out of uh, the PPT to say, uh, Post 35 to 40 percent of threat to ozone layer, we uh, we started research on the fluorocarbons and then started uh, the uh, you know, process to you know uh, control it and uh, uh, figure out uh, better measures to control the damage already caused. But using quantum mechanics, uh, quantum computing. Even before a uh, contaminant is uh, let out uh, habitually, we can figure out what are the pros and cons that can be made out. And this is a very vast uh, domain that has still not been touched in uh, my country, but uh, getting in something very big uh, out of this field can make us appear as pioneers of uh, uh, bringing in artificial intelligence into pollution control. So, air quality management, there was a case study from the uh, United States, the yeah, system, uh, that uh, real time air quality management was, uh, uh, was put into the traffic uh, department of the United States, where a 10% of reduction in uh, NOx emissions, that is, uh, uh, that is the average of uh, oxidized pollutants that are uh, being released through uh, what we call the diluted. Uh, uh, fuels and the concentrated fuels uh, was reduced for uh, about 10 percent, and optimized traffic patterns were also introduced. Uh, where uh, even it was introduced in India, even not the uh, number concepts, it was introduced by telecom, which, which was very good uh, initiator. Need not, and even there, the artificial intelligence can be uh, put in uh, as far as we can see, if not immediately so holistically as they do, and. Uh, so, uh, AI in uh, industrial uh, emissions monitoring, there was a case study from Germany. AI driven uh, emissions monitoring system were put in various parts of the uh, country, where uh, now they have an upgrade, which I, uh, I couldn't make an update here. That is, they are uh, along, along 
the side, they are implementing the purification systems even, which are even developed by AI, uh, being able to rectify the contaminants and give a specific treatment uh, to which. They are, they are very, uh, you know, not so economically feasible to us right now, but we can definitely consider it. So, uh, we can achieve 30% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and uh, improve uh, even far behind the EU regulations, they have improved the air quality index over there. Uh, this, this is a very good example for uh, using common sense uh, into uh, making up uh, something very big, possibly. And uh, water treatment, there was, there was a case study from the Netherlands, uh, artificial intelligence for water uh, treatment was uh, uh, being set up, 20% of reduction in uh, operational costs of treating the uh, water and uh, to say specifically, it's mentioned in the paper that 60% uh, more than the legal uh, uh, required limit was purified. And even uh, they are still working on making it from 80 to 90%. Uh, which is good. And you, we have a very, very uh, bad need of implementing it as far as we can see the conditions in uh, Delhi and the rest of Delhi. And it's no different in Bangalore as uh, we can see. Uh, include uh, 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 quality uh, regulation, regulatory standards uh, could also be seen. Enhancing efficiency and accuracy in pollution control. Reducing the human errors can be very easily achieved, it, 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 just as a, uh, uh, a cup of tea, it, just as a pack of cup of tea. Uh, supporting uh, decision making and policy uh, makers as uh, uh, seeking beyond the rectification aspects, uh, a very specific data on the table would mandate anyone in the decision making position to, uh, to uh, make decisions accordingly or else uh, the accountability matters. So, next challenges, uh, the data quality, where well, human efforts should be used as far as uh, I said, uh, system integration and ethical concerns. So, importance of uh, uh, continued research and development, where more methods can be through one point and Inclusion of uh, better techniques and technologies uh, can also be thrown like one. Need for uh, investment in the uh, artificial intelligence infrastructure, wherein uh, we have many schemes uh, which are focusing on R&D and AI being a very efficient uh, uh, domain to uh, get us more of a yield, uh, more when compared to research and development. And as a conclusion, I would like to say. Uh, yes, potential to revolutionize pollution control as far as we can see and call for ongoing uh, research and investment. Uh, and there is a, and as a point to add, there is an acute need of exploiting the potential of this uh, domain. And uh, uh, my dear friends, as the global phrase says, let's, let's uh, try, uh, let's try, uh, try to uh, make up reduce the effects of the damages already done and we can also explore over the things where we can uh, mitigate and uh, go on in a sustainable way. Uh, thank you. Yes. Thank you. This was the study based on AI and pollution. I just want to know, do you, do, do you need to hear AI in the supporting data like the pollution data or you know, pollution in such city? So you know, you can't now, uh, when you go to any corner, you know the pollution in the city, whether it's, uh, it's the rich or the marks or the, you know, uh, whatever is yes. given. So uh, do you think AI needs the data that is being already generated or does it generate its own data from uh, the data? Data, uh, there is no AI in the world that uh, generates data. Uh, every artificial intelligence would be fed on the data, on the analysis. So the data should be very clear. Now the yes. sign of the data should be very clear for a great intervention from the AI. And, uh, and a better point is, uh, as you said, any random person, I'm not saying something uh, yet, any random person who knows the definition of artificial intelligence, if asked the question that, does 
Ki has a role to play in the mutual members. Definitely the answer would be yes. But the point is how efficiently can it analyze data and collect data? All the generative guys are very good at making questions, uh, demanding people psychologically to give an appropriate answer. Yes. Yes. The question should be an appropriate question. So that yes. uh, I'm yes. 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 Uh, but uh, luckily, every every other person uh, with some good knowledge here is a is a prompt engineer and can have an efficient question to the application. Thank you very much.